here's what's inside. We got a Streamlabs monitor with a bunch of instructions telling you not to twist it around after you've installed it. Another warning telling you not to twist it around after you've installed it. Happy family that really likes watching their water consumption. Zip ties and some replacement contacts, which would go right there. The AC-DC power adapter. So I'm gonna do a little pre-configuration work and get the zip ties in place, but loose. Now I'm gonna remove the protector that tells you not to twist it around. Next I'm gonna put the DC power adapter into the device because I know it's gonna be difficult inside this constricted area. And now we're gonna get into the Streamlabs account, agree to the terms of service and get started. Enter a password, there'll be a verification code, and then you're into the app. At this point, the app basically crashed, so I force quit it and was able to get into name your device. I'll just name it for water for right now. And we get a few of these unnecessary questions. It's probably just for statistical data or automated flow issue reporting. You don't need to actually give it a zip code. And then you get right into Wi-Fi. I'm currently connected to the 2.4 gigahertz portion of my home network. But what it actually does here is it creates its own setup network. So let's power up the device. That is a convenient plug right here. And blue light and green light came on, now just blue. Now we get to scan the device. You can use the back of the box if you already installed it. And it goes and searches for the device, sets up its own private Wi-Fi network for configuration and uh, errors out on the Wi-Fi for the first try. So we just give it another try. And then we're in business. It needs to update after connecting to Wi-Fi. So you get about a minute of updating. And now it thinks that you're ready to go, but you're not out of the woods yet. The app thinks that you haven't installed it yet. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but it just tells you to pick a good location that's after the main valve, clean the pipe, which I did, pre-install the zip ties, pop the monitor on, and then tighten up those zip ties. It connects to it pretty quickly and it says you're all happy, but then it tries to sense the pipe. And at this point you get to find out if you did the installation correctly, because it's pretty sensitive. I found out that it couldn't sense the pipe and here's why. So I fixed it. I moved the device up a little bit and I replaced the zip tie on the top. We're gonna give it another try in the app. So you push try the install again, go through the steps, and it senses it really quickly this time, 10 seconds, and it tells you that it found copper type M, which is probably accurate. It tells you to turn off the main valve at this point so it can determine what no flow looks like, and it runs through a little check process. And when it's ready, it tells you to go turn on a faucet, run the faucet for 30 seconds, and then it will start to register. It's not immediate registration. And then it will ask you to set up alerts and do that sort of stuff to your preference.